So then on the video, we can see Pat speaks up. Private, we need you to be serious. All irritated looking. Private Miller then says, I'm serious. Your dick, my mouth. <laughs> Pat says, That's inappropriate. <laughs> Private Miller says, Fuck you. Now why would Private Miller say this? Your dick, my mouth. Eh? Is he stating that, you know, he's attracted to Patch and, you know, he wants to, you know, put his one-eyed monster in his mouth? <laughs> or is he stating by mocking him that he will no longer accept Patch's control or orders because now that he is free of that Your superiors. mind control, Holy bejesus is in him now and he can never get his hands on him again so he's basically saying your dick my mouth again fuck you making his choice for holy bejesus not for sucking his dick anymore uh... he had had enough dick <laughs> You got to appreciate this here, okay? Because this shows us something. And you people who are spooked, don't be. Why? Did you just laugh at anything throughout this? Holy bejesus. Has a sense of humor. He has a sense of humor. And plus, we got to appreciate he's obviously pretty pissed. This is a message to Patch of his vengeance. He's about to be sent in. And scripturally, we do know that that's accurate then by what's coming through is because we know that Jesus said, I not even know the hour, nor any man but the Father. But I am right there. We're all banging our shields and swords against the shields in space with my massive army. And you'll see where this is going because this is a message to those before he is sent in. It's for us. It's for us all. He's giving us a chance at something. What chance? We'll see where this goes. So then at which point after... Uh, Private Miller's reply there and his feelings on the matter through Holy uh, spirit speaking through him, at which we then see Patch say, I've seen enough. Shut it down. <laughs> now, think about this. What has Patch seen enough of? That he is losing control of his privates, meaning his Your superiors. army or his Your superiors. balls? To be outside in the open, in a square together, that he's seen enough. The message coming in clearer that he is concerned of who is being sent in to make all ass patch one day soon. Why are we underground right now, sir? He is losing his balls. He is going to lose much more than that and any other who wear the patch. He and his secret Your superiors. army of Nazi, Nazi Mason men control dick-sucking soldiers? <laughs> oh, you gotta appreciate the irony here. If you can laugh, I think you see some of the light of illumination from... Holy bejesus! And you can laugh with him. He's inviting you to laugh with him if you see him and acknowledge him as king. Because that's what he's coming as. This message is for those uh, for the last-ditch effort. Before he is sent in, because next time he's sent in, he's coming as king, and he's coming as the conqueror of the evil one. Patch, make no mistake about it, this is real, and you're going to see why all the more so later that this is no coincidence by the messages and codes that he brings me to show you in the next study. If you haven't seen enough in this one, wait till you get the confirmation in that one, and use your intelligence, and then you'll start thinking, I think many are going to see this light, and I think that's what it's for. It was meant to be. But anyway, again, now Tom decided to include this. And when he says, fuck you, the general says, I've seen enough. Like Tom said, he can't see in duality. He only sees things in one way. Why? Because he's got the patch. Why? Because he's a one-eyed monster. He's a dickhead. <laughs> this tells me also something else here that we should ponder. Patch says, I've seen enough. Now think about that. Meaning that he helped. I've seen enough. Of this skit? Remember, an act, a scene, an alternate scene, an alternate act. Of what? Of this fucking little dog and pony act that holy bejesus is using to tell Patch that, hey, I'm using this fucking little dog and pony act. Calling you out on sizing up your fucking little dog and pony act you call the military? Na 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 na. Punch? <laughs> I mean, remember, he's coming back to battle, Patch. He's mad. He's got the fury of the Father and the blood of the saints crying out to him. He's pissed off. He's not coming back with a message of peace. Except for those who see the slight. Holy bejesus. To see this burning bush, pun intended, signature, to state a reality of who I am is. I am who comes in not his own name, but, but his father's name. Holy bejesus. So Patch, telling us that... I've seen enough. ...of its message coming through, so he got bothered and says... Shut it down. 
Shut what down, people? The skit? Okay. The scene? Okay. The message? Well, I think that's pretty obvious. Patch is also making a threat to those underground and his secret... Your superiors. Nazi Mason men controlled privates who have been relit of their fire by... Holy bejesus. In essence, it's a prediction and it's a warning unto his own men. He is going to try to kill them because he is still underground and they are too with him. And their underground belief. <laughs> Get it? 420, item 9. This is a prediction of what is going to occur. Make no mistake about it. But this is a message for us all of what is really underneath our feet on the ground right now for you to consider that this is real. Plus, who is leading them to attack and kill holy bejesus enlightened ones? Wake up, people. Shout it at the rooftops. Have no more fear. Someone is coming. He's being sent in to destroy and to also have holy bejesus believers or beliefers <laughs> fires lit again of enlightenment and rise to life to be out in the open being seen in a square right now talking to people with so many others who are alive smoking joints and thinking how they've been enlightened or torched rather and smoking with great belief in holy bejesus why can't we be out in the open why aren't we in a square right now why aren't we talking to people letting them know item nine exists get it out shout at the rooftops this holy bejesus is Great! This holy bejesus. This is the bee's knees. This kind of fits to what Tom said also, I think. Tom said, Why aren't we in a square right now? Could be one of two things. One could be about telling everybody, in essence, illuminating them or enlightenment, to be fair and square. Or two, if you put two triangles together, you get a square. So the two pyramids and knowledge. Ah! So the two pyramids and knowledge being the light. The sunrise between the two pyramids or towers symbolizes the dawn of a new day. Sounds like we are being attributed in code who be responsible for the towers coming down, people. The dawn of a new day. That dawn of a new day being attributed to was September 11th of 2001. We are being steered to see of information, confirmation from the past from Holy Bejesus. That Patch was behind the attacks. So Patch says, Shut it down. The scene. Bury the hatch. The door and info of this fucking little dog and pony act coded skit of which these two triangles representing knowledge of being of the light or the two towers. So pass it. I've seen enough. Shut it down. The scene. Bury the hatch. What's the hatch? We learned from the beginning. The door. You remember from when we seen a slice of butter melting on top of a big old pile of flapjacks. Yeah the hatch for the rock isn't that interesting the rock because who has been attributed to be the rock too this is still scriptural as a signature that this holy bejesus message is real and comes from the light that's being shined through holy bejesus the torch of illumination through private millet thus representing all of holy bejesus people under patch and under everybody else who not see the hatch that rock is the rock of salvation holy bejesus himself he is the door. Remember, knock on the door and it shall be open. But we opened that door and we went in. The hatch. Like a slice of butter melting on top of a big old pile of flapjacks. Yeah. So, in essence, when he said, Shut it down. Bury the hatch. That hatch must be buried for him. Patch does not want this fucking little dog and pony act thing to be opened as he sees only one thing in his way. Remember? So what is that? His balls? His control? Your superiors. Soldiers who are underground in secret to him who have been relit by Holy Be Jesus letting us know and give us where he is, that he's real. They're down there under our feet in America right now because he's the intended target. Holy Be Jesus. Trying to tell us and warn him that he's about to be sent in, but warning all you other Nazis because he's about to be sent in. And the fact is, the matter is, regards to which Patch, it scares the holy bejesus out of him. <laughs> Patch says, I've seen enough. Shut it down. Bury the hatch. Sell the land. And dispose of him. Ah, get it? Patch says, I've seen enough. What? The scene. The scene that he's seen enough and that this test was done. This test to see if humanity, if us, if there's a chance that this test that was created in the past to be opened now and to be have it be brought in by a tiny little flame, which is holy bejesus. His uh, his torch of illumination to light the the light that fire to make you think. Item nine represents the weed in the mouth. So therefore it's to make you think. Remember, he has to come into you to the mind. And if you see him, you see the message, you see him. You don't have to physically see him because you hear him. You see his light 
And he says that those who know me will know my voice. My sheep know me and I know my sheep. Those who do not hear me do not know me. Those who not see me do not know me. Just even this message that I bring forth to you in my own unique, crazy, wacky sort of way. But think about this. It is the Lord that chose me to bring it and chose my friend Tom to help me solve it and chose my friend Sean, who's a total atheist, to bring this by chance and coincidence to come out on this date to be put together for me after everything I went through and learned over this past few years regarding this code of Hoaglands who works for Patch thus I was studying Patch's code but the light still shined through because why? because that light was still pointing me to someone who wore the Patch didn't I? Dr. Hoagland protecting Patch because he works for Patch and he knows so therefore he, he says shut it down Bury the hatch. Bury the door that's been opened, that he knows of what he had just seen. I've seen enough. And he wants to sell the land. What's the land? The land that they had laid in that fucking little dog and pony act. In that scene. To sell it to the movies. Get it? And, and dispose of him. This never happened. He says. And dispose of him. Who? Private Miller. He can't say that about Holy Bejesus. Because remember, he had no say or control about who was sent in the room. It was Holy Bejesus. We had to figure that out. And we were told the answer right in front of our face. And none of you would have seen this. This is meant to be. Why are we talking to people? Let them know. Item 9 exists. Get it out. Shout at the rooftops. This is great. This is the bee's knees. This is to make you all think and see the logic in this. So by this proverbial fire, this doobie, this 420, this item 9, this video makes you think and allow that little flame of holy bejesus to come in your mind and take the spell from Patch away from your minds to see his light because he's about to be sent in. He wants you. He wants to save you. He wants to take you up with him because he holy bejesus is about to be sent in. So yes, Patch, he must shut the holy bejesus underground movement within his own and as well as above ground it's a still it's a twofold prediction he must bury the hatch to the way into this coded message that was made and sell the land to his lies and deception meaning all of you because all of you are watching it and none of you seen it but it, the lord made sure that there would be elements to be brought on and it would come out unbeknownst to each element that was supposed to bring it forth this is the burning bush do you get it 420 item 9 a signature this is a Moses type message coming forth to you because he's about to be sent in and he wants to save you make no mistake about it this is not a lie my heart is on fire and it's on fire with his heart he lit the torch of illumination in my mind and in my heart oh but you're a sinner you're this, it doesn't matter he atoned for that already he knows that but my body shall be changed in the twinkling of an eye as is yours if you see and therefore to go be with him. He wants to save you. He doesn't want to just come in here and wipe everything out. This proverbial punch in the eye was what was needed to give Patch a message and also blind him in his one eye. Why? Probably to steal some souls back from him. <laughs> hey, what's good for the goose is good to the gander. How many centuries has it been that the father has been waiting for his day of wrath? I think he has uh, built up some momentum to give a few pokes here and there. I mean, considering what Patch has done to him and us over the years. And a lot with our own help. But we're sinners. But that's done. It's, it's atoned for. And that's why he's sending in this warning and this message of hope, of salvation. But not for them. Your superiors. It's a matter of judgment and saying, I'm coming in to kick your ass. And he is. That's Make no mistake. That is what he's saying. He's pissed. But he also has a sense of humor. We can laugh with him. And therefore, we should be happy with that. Because that means we shall be with him. If you see. Holy be Jesus. Remember, he must dispose of the underground of holy be Jesus. Remember, the private himself. Private Miller represents others of his kind. In that Your superiors. Nazi Mason army, has, but not anymore. Why? Because he's illuminated, so of his kind. Holy be Jesus. Talking to them. So, trying to tell us all and patch a hidden secret. A message being sent to him and us all from the sender. Holy be Jesus. The private knows he is going to die, but he has seen... Holy be Jesus. ...relight his fire torch of enlightenment, and seen it with a smile on his face that made him see clear. He has no more fear of patch, nor of death, because his salvation 
is high. <laughs> that makes him know I should be out in the open, in the square, smoking weed with his fellow privates, with their torches of enlightenment to scream from the rooftops that he and they are alive. Give praise to glory. To Holy Jesus.